Hi everyone, welcome to Lepus Compass. Thank you so much for being here. Today we are doing all signs reading. We're going to check up on your person and we're going to see what their thoughts are, what their feelings are and what their intentions are. So let's go ahead and start. We are going in order from Aries to Pisces. I'm going to timestamp the signs in the in description box. Um, if your sun sign doesn't resonate, please do watch your moon and rising signs. A lot of times your messages will come from there. Venus is also very important, especially for love readings. So if you know your Venus, watch your Venus sign. All right, let's go ahead and start with Aries. Aries, we're checking up on your person. Let's first see what their thoughts are. What are they thinking at this time? What is your person thinking? Ooh love is on their mind love is on their mind for sure hmm. look at this they think about you aries that's all they think about right here the emperor is here that's you that's um, your representation major arcana here um, this person is thinking about love. They're definitely thinking about love. They uh, they think that they've been left in the cold. Um, it seems to me like this person thinks that you're not interested in them. Um, they also think that you're very focused on your work. You could be very. Uh, you, they think that you're very focused on your finances this time and building your finances. They think that you are too busy for them. That's what I feel. This person thinks that um, you spend more time at work than you do with them, and uh, they think that you focus um, way more on work than you focus on them. They kind of think they they feel left alone. They uh, they feel left in the cold. But love is definitely on their mind, and you are on their mind. Uh, they can't stop thinking about you. <laughs> Let's see what this person feels. What does this person feel? What do they feel? They feel, they feel love. <laughs> they do feel love. They feel love. Um, they feel like, um, they feel a lot of attraction. They feel a lot of attraction towards you. But I'm also getting this energy that they feel conflicted. Temperance and eight or, and five of wands there with nine of swords. They feel conflicted. They feel conflicted here. Um, they feel, um, there are times when they feel confident uh, that uh, um, they are uh, that your relationship is going to last the time and there are times when they feel a little bit um, less confident there are times that where they feel that uh, there is communication missing between you two and there is uh, just way too much uh, of um, fire there is way too many arguments here uh, they feel like conflicted they feel like they need to find a balance they feel like you both need to find a balance in this um, in this um, relationship they feel like um, um, each one of you is kind of pulling in their direction uh, there's it feels like a union of two very confident and very successful people here and there could be a lot of happiness in which, be, between you two they are convinced that there, there could be a happy future between you two but you have to find a balance it's not uh, like every like it feels like each one of you uh, both of you are pulling in their own direction here and that's what sparks arguments that's what they feel Let's go ahead and see what their intentions are. Six of Pentacles. Their intentions is to find their balance. That's what I'm getting here. Their intentions is to uh, give in into this uh, relationship as much as you do. It feels to me, hey, look at that. Six of Wands is coming through again. Six, sixty-six, six, six, six could be a very significant number here. They feel like um, you both are. You both like the wind to the point of it being a little toxic. That's what I'm getting here. It feels like uh, uh, their intentions are to um, to give in to this relationship, but they want to give uh, only as much as you will return. They, they are looking for an equal partnership here, uh, but I feel like it's like, you know, they only gonna give as much as they will get in return. That's what I'm getting here. Um, uh, this person is also focused on their money. I do feel that they're working on their independence and their intention is to continue working on their independence, their financial independence, I mean. Um, 
there is a bit of a manipulative energy about them as well like i said it's like this person is um trying to find the balance you know between you two they want equal partnership but almost to the point that it becomes almost toxic because they only give as much as they get in return that's what i'm getting from this person aries and very interesting energy this person uh, could be um an earth sign doesn't have to be um capricorn because uh, it's standing out strongly to me here and um, there's also a lot of fire here leo sagittarius that's what i see all right aries this is the message i'm getting for you today um if you felt like i wasn't describing or talking about your person at all please go ahead and watch your sun moon and rising signs and venus a lot of times your messages will come from there and um we are going to move on the next up for us is taurus we're gonna go ahead and check up on check up on taurus person and see what their thoughts, feelings, and intentions are this time. Taurus, what's your person thinking right now? What's your person thinking? Oh, let's see. Five of Swords in reverse. I think that it's time to stop arguing. It's time to stop bickering. That's what I'm getting here. Interesting. Um, I feel like uh, this person thinking about uh, what could have been, should have been, uh, what, uh, if, what if, there's, that's what's going on in their head. Um, you could have gone through their argument, you could have even stopped talking to each other, and what they think about is what would have happened if you didn't have that argument, what would have happened if uh, um, you know they were not that headstrong, because I feel like they were quite headstrong here. Um, this person thinks about... Um, uh, getting to connect with you uh, through friends like if you were in if you are now in a stage where you're disconnected from each other and not even speaking to each other and um, they're looking for opportunities to meet up with you in some sort of group setting so um, they're trying to see where your friends going and they're trying to kind of they're kind of almost appearing in the same place trying to see if you're going to show up if you're going to be there um, they could be connecting through your friends or you could be even in the same friend group they're trying to go out with the, that friend group a little bit more just so they can see you that's what i feel they want to start talking again it feels like you stop talking to each other and they want to start talking again could be a leo could be a pisces let's see what they feel what is this person feeling what is Taurus this person feeling Look at that, Seven of Swords. They feel betrayed. They feel betrayed in some way. Interesting. They feel betrayed. They feel like um, they give in a lot of love to this connection, and they feel like um, they uh, they they give it all. They gave it all, and they were looking for a long-term relationship. They are looking for a long-term relationship. They want commitment. This person wants commitment, but they feel betrayed. They feel betrayed in some way. Interesting. Um, they feel like um, they should be talking to somebody who uh, is willing to um, who is willing to commit to a long-term relationship and this person feels like um, um, they th this person feels dissatisfied where they are right now that's what I'm getting here they feel dissatisfied they feel sad um, they feel betrayed and uh, for some of you they feel like they should go for a new love that's what i'm getting here for some of you and uh, you could be anyone in this equation so you know uh, you could be either their current partner or an ex-partner here you could be somebody they're thinking about new you will know um I am getting this energy of healing and healing from a disappointment what they've had in the past and they feel like they should uh, they are ready for a new love that's what I'm getting here hmm, your person could be on an urge of starting a new relationship or opening up to a possibility of starting a new relationship that's what I'm getting let's see what the intentions are okay messed that up there Let's see what their intentions are. What is the story of this person's intentions? This is it. Okay. Let's see what else is here. Here we go. Okay. 
Their, uh, their intentions are to explore their options. Their intentions are to go out. Their intentions are to date around. Uh, they feel like uh, they have a lot to offer. They want, they want um, a change. They want a change. They want um, uh, a, a little bit more of excitement in their love life. And I do feel that uh, they want to go out. They want to date around. Uh, some of them uh, definitely want to have options. They want to explore their options. That's what I'm getting here. This person uh, does have a very good self-confidence. This person knows that they have a lot to offer. And I feel like they want to explore their options. They want to compare people. They want to see what's out there and choose the person who's right for them. Hmm, interesting. Well, Taurus, this is... Um the person on your mind and if you felt like i was not talking about the person on your mind please do go ahead and watch your sun moon and rising signs a lot of times your messages will come from there this was quite specific so it will not resonate with every one of you out there and we are going to move on these are quick messages we're just checking on the energy about your person here next up for us is gemini so we're going to check on gemini's person whoever's on your mind, whoever's in your heart. Let's see what their thoughts are this time. Gemini's person's thoughts. Let's find out. What are they thinking? What are they thinking? They're thinking they need to get out more. They're kind of uh, longing for uh, adventure. Uh, your person uh, could be thinking about even relocating or going on some sort of um, travel, some sort of trip. They feel a little bit stuck at home. They feel a little bit confined there. Um, this person, um, huh, interesting. This person thinks about uh, talking to you. They could be at a distance from you. They could be uh, thinking about starting something um, uh, with you that is um some something that feels new that's what i'm getting new communication and breakthrough communication i do feel that you've spoken to this person before like you've had some sort of connection with this person before and uh, maybe at some point uh, you moved away or they moved away there is a distance between you two i feel like they want to reconnect and um, restart the communication they want to start slow and kind of build up on it they want to get out of this energy when you don't talk to each other anymore they also don't want to listen to other people anymore in their thoughts they feel like there were other people that were in their ear and they might possibly talked about you they could have gossiped about you they don't want to listen to that anymore um, in their thoughts they want they want to um, come an offer of love to you messages they want to message you I'm getting that energy very strongly the, this could be um, emails uh, even love letters I'm getting for some of you love letters interesting Okay, let's see what this person feels. What is this person feeling at this time? What's in their heart? What's in their heart? The Gemini person. What's in their heart? Ten of Cups. A lot of love. A lot of love. Gives me an energy of a twin flame there. It feels like um, they... In their heart, they know that you're the right person for them. They know that this is the person, that you're the person who they should uh, have a family with. They, they would be very happy with. They, they can build a lasting relationship. A lot of love in their heart. A lot of love. But there is this energy of waiting and waiting for something to come through. There is this energy of waiting and um, um, not necessarily acting not sure why they're not acting we're going to see that in their intentions here but in their heart they, it's like they're waiting they're waiting for the right moment they're waiting for the right opportunity here um, they feel a little bit kind of uh, there's some complications when it comes to their uh, love life here they could be even a, in a karmic relationship right now they could be healing from a karmic relationship i'm getting that energy here and uh, this healing uh, they're healing their heart from a karmic relationship where they felt stuck where they felt uh, possibly even manipulated here and in their heart there is an uh, air sign which could definitely be you gemini this is your energy this is a gemini energy and air energy i do feel that uh, this person has a lot of love for you Okay, let's see what the intentions are. And that jumped out right away. Nine of Swords. The intentions are just, uh, keep worrying about it. They, they're very worried about the situation. There is, like I said, there is complications here. This is not straightforward. They're worried. They're worried. They're anxious. 
Wow, look at that. Three of Swords. Moon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. There could have been a Pisces in their life here. Yeah. Wow. They're very concerned, they're anxious, they're worried. Uh, three of Cups and Three of Swords. This is, could be a third party situation here. I'm getting this very strongly. There's three people in this equation here. Um, there could have been a lot of secrets. There could have been hiding. They could be keeping their uh, intentions secret here. There could definitely be a Pisces involved in the situation. Um, they could have gone for Pisces. Uh, this could have been a, um, an air. Uh, and fire sign that you're interested in, that you're dealing with. I feel like this person is trying to find a, um, a fair solution to this third party situation. That's what their intentions are. King of Pentacles, they want something stable. They want a stable relationship. They want to kind of uh, stabilize their feet on the ground before they take any action here. And I do feel that they're looking for like a fair resolution to a third party situation. And it keeps them awake at night. Wow. That's what I see, Gemini. Your person is um, going through some uh, difficult times. This is a complicated, this is not a straightforward union here. All right, well, Gemini, if you felt like I did not describe your person or that your situation, please do go ahead and watch your sun, moon, and rising signs. A lot of times your messages will be coming from there. And um, next up for us is Cancer. So if you have a lot of Cancer in your chart, Cancer is your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. This could be a reading for you, so stick around for it. First, we're going to check on Cancer's person thoughts. Let's see what your person is thinking at this time, Cancer. What's your person thinking at this time? What are they thinking? Cancer, your person thinks a lot. They actually very much mind strong. I feel like they're a person that overthinks their relationships quite often. I will say that. They're definitely more uh, head driven than heart driven here. But they think about love. They think about love quite a bit here. They think about um, love that fe feels like wish fulfillment. They think about who is their wish fulfillment here. Um, you could be dealing with Aquarius, very strong energy of an air sign here, specifically Aquarius. Um, I feel like this person could be older than you, but they are still a dreamer. They are definitely a dreamer. Um, I'm getting this energy of you possibly being in their head. Um, this is could be you here, right here, Page of Cups, uh, um, uh, Cancer. There could be a, um, an age difference between you two. I'm getting a very strong energy of an age difference. Um, you could be um, like in years older than them, or they could be older than you. I'm getting more of an energy them being older than you, and they're not too sure if you would be even um, interested in them because they they get a lot of young energy around you. Um, they get a lot of like energy of you know wanting to explore things. You 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 still have your you know like your dreams ahead of you. Where this person is a little bit more of established, they've accomplished quite a bit in their life already. There is a maturity about them, but love is on their mind. I'm definitely getting an energy of love is on their mind. Let's go ahead and see what they feel at this time. That. They feel a need of some sort of transformation. That's what I'm getting here. Ten of Wands, a completion here. And they could have ended a relationship um, recently. They could have gone through a divorce, a separation, and moving out from a home where they lived with somebody else. Could be a Libra. They could have been um, in a relationship with Libra here. Yeah, a marriage. They could have been in a marriage with a Libra here, and marriage that came to an end. Um, I am getting an energy of their heart is um, their life life is there is a transformation that is happening here and look at that the lovers are coming through they make they made a choice in love 
they're making a choice in love here magician Ooh, there could be a very strong uh, energy of gemini in, um, uh, around them they could be they could have a gemini in their mind or and in their heart here but i feel what the strongest here is this person knows that they've made a choice in love and they now manifest in their true connection because i do feel that they this person is, is divorced or they've gone through a very long-term relationship that felt like a marriage here and it was quite burdensome here it's been quite burdensome it has come to an end and in their heart they're making a choice to go for their wish fulfillment to manifest the person who is right for them wow interesting can so let's see what their um intentions are what is this person's intentions at this time tower an ending of a relationship they end in a relationship they're moving out from the home um, they are um, divorced in here that's the intention I'm getting that strongly I feel like the intention is um, to look somewhere else to go somewhere else to explore uh, for some of you they this person uh, could be definitely healing at this time balancing their energy here um, they they want to move to the Kama Shores. They've definitely gone through a separation here and their energy now, their intentions are to find a balance in life, to ban to find a balance within them. For some of you, they're becoming much more spiritual. They're trusting their intuition more. They could be going on some sort of even a, like a spiritual retreat here. I am getting that. I'm getting an energy of them uh, possibly even going through some sort of therapy. They want to heal. They want to learn. And they want to move to the calmer shores when it comes to their love life because something definitely falls apart here. This is what I see. That's what I see about your person here, Cancer. If you felt like I did not describe your person here at all, please do go ahead and watch your Sun, Moon and Rising signs and also Venus. If you know those positions, those placements in your birth chart, it would be very beneficial for you to watch those readings. And um, we are going to move on. The next stop for us uh, is going to be Leo. We're going to go ahead and see what Leo's person is thinking, feeling, and what their intentions are this time. If you have a lot of Leo in your chart, this could be messages for you. Leo's person's thoughts. Let's see what are they thinking. What are they thinking now? Oof. They're thinking that they need to trust their intuition at this time. They think uh, there's a lot of passion in their thoughts. Um, there's also a lot of um, energy of them being passionate about you here. You are definitely on your on their mind, Leo. This is your energy right here. Can once they think about you a lot. They think about commitment with you. They think about um, almost like a new chapter in life. For those of you who are already dating this person, they think about next step next level they they think about taking your relationship to a new level of commitment so if you're dating they want to get engaged if uh, you're engaged they want to get married they think about taking your relationship to a new level of commitment and they intuitively feel like this is the right choice for them this is a right step for them that's what i'm getting okay leo let's go ahead and see what they feel what is this person feeling Wow, look at that. Ace of Wands is coming through again. They feel a lot of passion towards you. A lot of passion, a lot of physical attraction. Uh, you could be dealing with the Pisces. The Pisces uh, came out twice here with their High Priestess and Hangman here. Um, the Fool, <laughs> interesting. They think, they feel there needs to be a new beginning in your relationship. Look at that, the sun, this is you. And they have a lot of feelings for you. They have a lot of love for you. You are in their mind, you are in their heart. This is your presentation, Major Arcana. They feel like um, your relationship is a little bit stuck and it's time to take a risk and dive right in and take it to a new level. It feels like um, they feel like they're overburdened with the fact that it's not moving as quickly as they as they would want to or it's uh, not taken to the new level of commitment uh, as they would want to. They feel it's time to take that risk, uh, dive in, dive in into either marriage or engagement, dive in into that next step. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and see what the intentions are. Your person's intentions. <laughs> Look at that, two cups. Yep, mm-hmm. How interesting is that? I am getting this strong energy of their intention is to spend their lifetime with you. They find you as their twin flame, as their soulmate here. Again, an energy of Pisces. You could, this could definitely be Pisces. Somebody who's quite intuitive. Very strong energy of Pisces here. Three of Cups in reverse. They are close off to any other possibilities around them. They think about you and you only. Their intention is to be with you and you only here. Look at that. Judgment and Ace of Cups. Wow. If there is a, some, for some of you, there was a situation here where you um, either disconnected or had some sort of fight. The, the intention is, is to reconnect, to reconcile, to offer you the cup of love and to be very um, uh, honest with you. That's what the intentions are. The intentions are is to make the intentions clear. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. They, they do want commitment. They want commitment. They want um, marriage here. Um, and this person will tell you about this. The intentions are to open up and tell you exactly how, how they feel about you, which is a lot of love here, and tell you exactly that they want commitment with you. They want that marriage. They want that progress in the relationship. That's what I'm getting. That's the energy. Very interesting. Okay, Leo. Well, I do hope that it resonated and that these messages were helpful to you. But if you felt like I was not talking about your person at all, please do go ahead and watch your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs. A lot of times your messages will be coming from there. And this could be one of those times. And we are going to move on. Next up for us is Virgo. So if you have a lot of Virgo in your chart, go ahead and watch this little reading. This could be for you. First, we're going to check on your person's thoughts, Virgo. Virgo's person's thoughts. What are they thinking at this time? What are they thinking? Virgo, they, they're thinking a lot. They're in their head a lot. Ooh, they're thinking about love. Love keeps them awake at night. Thoughts about love keeps them awake at night. Mm, they're thinking about starting a new adventure here, an adventure that will lead to commitment. That's what they're thinking. Wow, they want to move forward. This person is thinking it's time for them to take a leap of faith and dive into a committed relationship. That's what they want. They don't want to, you know, date around anymore. They don't want to just a casual relationships. They want commitment. They think that it's time for them to jump in into a committed relationship and something that has a potential to build the family. That's what their thoughts are. Their thoughts are that it's time to move forward. It's time to um, move forward in their love life. That's what I'm getting here interesting okay Virgo let's go ahead you could be dealing with an air sign also it could be a cancer here let's see what their thoughts are also Aries stands out there oh Virgo they think about their wish fulfillment there's a lot of love in their heart here the star they again wish fulfillment nine of cups and the star both cards of wish fulfillment here judgment interesting for some of you they think about reconciliation and healing a relationship that is a wish fulfillment for them this could be a relationship with you if you have some sort of disconnect with this person here i'm getting that energy here yeah they want to start fresh they want to start anew they want to make a new offer here in their heart they know that the person that um, they were connected to, that that relationship deserves another chance, that that relationship can be healed and should be healed here. Um, Knight of Cups, you could be definitely dealing with somebody who's very emotional, who's uh, very uh, kind of wearing their feelings on their sleeve here. This person is uh, has a lot of love. There's a lot of love in their heart. They have a lot of love to give. And for a lot of you, they they want to heal some sort of relationship that um, 
they had from the past. I'm getting an energy of reconciliation here and healing. Let's see what their intentions are. This could be your ex I'm talking about. Oh yeah, they're coming with a cup of love and they're coming for when. They're not going to take a, a no for an answer. Uh, definitely could be somebody that you're not talking to anymore, that you had some sort of disconnect with, with that five of swords. Their intentions are to come with a cup of love. To bring the cup of love to you, to offer that new cup of love. And like I said, they're not taking no for an answer. They're coming for a win here. Two of Cups, they want a relationship, they want a commitment, they want that uh, family, they feel like um, they, this person that they, they are with, that this is the choice for them, this is the right choice for them. And for a lot of you, like I said, this could be you, this, this could be you, that could be, this could be them coming towards you. And there is so much love here, there is a lot of love here. This person has made a decision. Seven of Cups, if they were exploring their options in the past, I feel like they finally realized who's the right person for them. And I do feel that this is you. That's what I'm seeing here. Virgo, I hope that this reading was helpful to you. And I do hope you found something in this reading that resonated. But if you feel like I was not talking about your person at all, Aquarius just came through the energy of Aquarius there. If I wasn't talking about your person at all, Virgo, please do go ahead and watch your sun, moon, and rising sign. Some of you, you can have Aquarius as your sun, moon, and rising signs. So you should watch that. Okay, we're going to move on. We are moving on to Libra. Checking up on Libra's person here. Libra, what is your person thinking at this time? Let's find out. What is Libra's person thinking at this time? Ooh, they're confused. Your person is very confused. They're kind of on a crossroads here. Why are they so confused? Could be a Virgo. They could be a little bit detached at this time. Could definitely be an earth sign. They feel stuck. Ooh, they feel stuck. They feel um, left in the cold. Again, energy of a nurse sign, specifically a Virgo is coming through. Um, they are confused. They're confused. They're stuck. They feel left in the cold. They think they are left in the cold. They they think that um, they are detached, uh, um, alone, almost getting the energy that this person thinks that they're going to be alone forever. Interesting. They do think that they are stuck in this cycle of singlehood. That's what they think. Huh. Okay, Libra, let's go ahead and just see what they feel. I'm very confused your person is. They feel like they want to have love. They feel like they want to move on in their love life. They feel like there needs to be something new happening in their love life. I'm getting that. They could have been uh, cheated on in the past. Uh, and they're looking for commitment. They don't want any more of that... A superficial kind of relationships they want something serious um, this person wants something that will last something that is stable something that uh, is that ev everly happily uh, happy after that's what they want this person uh, believes in true love that's what I'm getting here in their heart they believe in true love and they feel although in their thoughts they feel like okay I'm never gonna find it <laughs> it feels that way but in their heart, they believe in true love. And they could have been, like I said, they been, could have been cheated on in the past. But yet, they still believe in true love. Okay. Five of swords. Interesting. Oh, God, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, like I said, your person is very confused. Very confused. Uh, their intention is to kind of keep a distance, I want to say. Their intention is this is... Uh, it's not to come forward with communication here. They they are resisting something. It's like they're resisting to come forward here. Again, resisting. It's like they've been through a ringer. They've been hurt in the past for sure. And their intention is to keep the distance. It's almost like they want you to come towards them. Knight of Swords is here. And um, I feel like they want... They, they're patiently waiting. That's the intention is to patiently wait, to resist the urge to come forward, to, uh, to um, not like 
they to wait. They're waiting for you to start the communication. They're waiting for you to come forward towards them. They are patient, but they not they're not making any moves forward. I'm not seeing them uh, moving forward towards you at all. I feel like they want you to come towards them. That's what I see. That's what's happening here, Libra. <laughs> if I didn't describe your person here, if this is not your situation, go ahead and check your sun, moon, and rising sign. A lot of times your messages will come from there. So check those out. I do timestamp the signs in the description box, so it's quite easy to find. And the messages are quite quick and short, so try not to waste anybody's time here. And we are moving on. The next up for us is Scorpio. So we're going to go ahead and see what Scorpio's person thinks about in this time. What are they thinking about? What's on their mind? Scorpio's person's what person? What's on their mind? Oh, you could be more than one person. Okay, interesting. Six of Pentacles. They think about money flows. They're thinking about uh, finding new uh, money uh, sources. Just as I said that Two of Pentacles came in reverse. They 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 are in some sort of. Uh, they could definitely be going through some sort of financial troubles, or they could be in a situation where they feel very um, um, insecure with their finances. They're they are looking for new sources of income. Like I said, new sources of income, Scorpio. That's what they're looking for. They're looking for that flow. They, they, it feels like uh, finances that could be quite limited or shaky uh, for them at this time. This could be um, an air sign. doesn't have to be. They could be starting in this time. They could be starting something to um, start a new business, uh, to um, start a new um, job, to, like I said, bring more, um, bring, bring a new a source of income into their life. They could be uh, thinking about that and study about that. They think a lot about their family as well. They might have a lot of family obligations at this time. They think uh, this could be family, siblings, this could be friends as well. They think about them. Um, they lean on their support, but they also uh, give a lot of support to their either friends or family here, and that's heavily on their mind at this time. Interesting. They might have some people depending on them as well. Let's see what's in their heart. Scorpio's person, what are they feeling? What are they feeling this time? Fool. They feel like they need a, a new romantic relationship. They feel like there's time to take an adventure. <laughs> Possibly an adventure with you here. King of Cups is coming through. Scorpio, this could be definitely your energy. This could be um, a, a water sign that's in their heart and could definitely, like I said, be you. Uh, Five of Pentacles, they feel left in the cold. They could have been left in the cold. They could have, uh, their person from the past, it could have been even you here, who left them in the cold or who decided to leave them here. They, they're they healing from that. Uh, they um, That's what, they, what they're going through in their heart right now. They're healing from a disappointment of being left in a cold. Six of Swords, moving to the Kama Shores. That's what your person is doing right now. Like I said, they're healing their heart and they are kind of ready for a new love, a new adventure here. For those of you who this person is, um, you know, you know that they've recently went through a, a situation where they were left in the cold, where they left, where, where their person left them. I feel like your person is ready for a new love here and they ha and they are healing and moving to the Kama Shores. They're finding a good balance here. Again, a lot of energy of alchemy and healing here. And uh, Devil and King of Pentacles, this could be a Capricorn that you're connected to and very strong energy of an earth sign. So this person could have been manipulated in the past and uh, you know, they still feel that in their heart, but that's what they uh, heal from. Definitely could be a Capricorn here. Oh, their intention is to have a family. Their intention is to build a family. Their intention is also to make sure that they have enough of financial support to support their family, to have that family. That's what their intentions are. Ooh, their intention is to work very hard on financial stability. It keeps coming back up. That's what's in their mind. That's what... Um, the intentions are they could definitely be left in the cold here. They could have struggled with their finances and the intentions are is to bring a change to their financial situation. Look at that. Two of Pentacles comes in reverse again. 
Uh, they don't want to juggle with their money anymore. They definitely, uh, their intentions are to work on their money to where they're stable, to where they can support their family, to where they don't have to worry about having a lack in finances and, you know, worry about what, what bill to pay next or what bill to pay first here. They want to have financial security, very strong energy of financial security here. The uh, their intention is to build some sort of career. The intention is to build a name for themselves. And again, to either support their family or their siblings or their uh, their friends here, they, that's very, they have a very strong bond with some people here that either depend on them in some way or have, um, you know, they just support each other very strongly here. For some of them, this could be like a um, almost I'm getting a spiritual tribe. <laughs> That's the energy here, a soul tribe here. Um, Scorpio, your energy is coming through here strongly. I feel like the intentions at this time are very much to focus on their financial stability and their intentions towards you are kind of hidden at this point. I feel like this person is still unclear for themselves what they intend to, uh, uh, towards you here. It's kind of in the dark. It's almost like spirit saying that, you know what, as of right now, they don't know what their intention towards you are. That's what it is. Your person uh, definitely is having some sort of financial situation here going on. There's some financial struggles that they want to overcome first before they um, open up to a love relationship. That's what I'm getting here. It feels like a person has quite a bit of responsibility on their shoulders. That's what I'm getting. In their heart, they're ready for a new love, but in their practical 3D world, it feels like they're still trying to accomplish other things before they actually explore love relationship that's the energy okay well we're gonna go ahead and move on from there let's um let's move on to sagittarius and scorpio if you felt like i wasn't talking about your person at all do go ahead and ch check your sun moon rising and uh, venus signs and see if your messages come from there today we are moving on to Sagittarius. Let's see what the Sagittarius person think at this time. What do they think? What do they think? What's on their mind? Sagittarius. Oh, there's some manipulation on their mind. They're on their mind. They're trying to lure you in at almost kind of like at any cost. That's what I'm getting here. They think that you're their wish fulfillment. They think that... that um, Oh, they think that you are, you are all they desire and want. With Eight of Swords in reverse, they also feel like uh, they think that you can help them in some way uh, to get out of some sort of bind, to get out of some sort of difficult situation here. Huh. Hmm. Your person likes to party too. I feel like there's a lot of party energy around them. They, your person thinks about partying quite a bit. Um, they do also still have something from their past lingering their energy. They think about past, that there are some disappointments here. This person could have been, could be thinking about what they've done wrong or what, what gone wrong in their previous relationship. And they still think about that. They still have regrets. I feel like a person has quite a bit of regrets actually about the past. This could have been somebody who used to be a player. But honest to be very honest with you Saji I feel like this person is still a bit of a player that's what's in their thoughts let's go ahead and see what their feelings are oh look at that emperor is coming out but um, this particular emperor is giving me a very self-observed energy here i'm not gonna lie it feels like they have a lot of self-confidence they have a lot of self-love i'm getting that from them but it's like mm, they, they're still party on their mind and in their heart they still feel like um, they didn't um they still feel like they should have choices in love 
they feel like they have choices in love. They, this is, person is uh, very self-confident to the point of their being a little bit uh, selfish in some way. They want to have choices. I feel like they're in a crossroads. They could be between two people. They could be entertaining two people. They could have feelings for two people. It does feel a little burdensome on their heart. I do feel that there's, uh, you know, it's weighing hard on them. But yet they're not ready to give up partying. They're not ready to give up dating around. That's feel here. That's what I feel. This person is um, keeping their options open. Here, I said it. Let's go ahead and see what their intentions are. In their heart, they have not made a choice who their true love is as of right now. As of yet. Knight of Cups. Okay, well, they are interested in coming up with the coming with the cup of love. But it was five of swords again. It's like uh, give in a little, take a bit, give in a little, take a bit, stay stuck. I mean, look at this. <laughs> oh my God. If three of cups comes one more time, look at this. You have three of cups, three of cups, three of cups. This person is not ready for a serious relationship. I'll tell you that much. And this person, do they have love? Are they willing to give a cup of love? Yes. But it feels like, uh, you know, they, they give some love and they get stuck and then leave a person in the cold here. Uh, five, five, they are looking for some sort of change, but I feel like they're not serious enough to, uh, to um, look for commitment at this time. And, you know, you, you know your situation or what you're looking for. But this person's stuck. They're kind of stuck in this energy of push and pull. They're stuck in this energy of uh, uh, either being left in the cold, leaving people in the cold. I feel like uh, this is the person who can easily start an argument and just ghost somebody. This person could have been a ghost, uh, could have an intention to ghost someone that they came with a cup of love towards too. I'm getting this energy very strongly from them. And I'm getting this energy of uh, just not moving forward. And again, going out, partying, looking for other options here. Um, I do feel that in a long run, eventually, they will be maturing, maturing um, when it comes to their emotions. But it's gonna, they're going to go through all of this before they go from a Knight of Cup to a King of Cup. Before they go from somebody who's easily giving away their love to maybe multiple people here to that level of maturity, emotional maturity, when they can actually be in a committed relationship. I feel like this, can, this transition is going to take time. This change is going to take time. And in the meantime, they're going to party. They're going to explore their option. Like I said, they could be ghosting somebody here. That's what I'm getting. A little bit of manipulative, toxic energy coming through uh, from this person. Okay, if you felt like I did not describe your person there, please do go ahead and watch your sun, moon, and rising sign, also Venus sign. A lot of times your messages could be coming from there. And we are moving on. We're going quickly through the signs, just checking on the energy of the person that's on your mind and in your heart. And next up for us is Capricorn. So let's go ahead and see what Capricorn person's thoughts are this time. What are they thinking about? Who are they thinking about? What's on their mind? Let's find out. Capricorn person's thoughts. Let's see. Whoa. Capricorn. They have uh, love is in their mind. I am getting that. Uh, but also self-love. I'm getting a lot of self-love from this person. On their mind is to be independent, to be um, very much uh, secure. In, um, and I'm getting an energy of um, somebody who's in solitude. This person is uh, seems to be real, single at this time. Could be a Scorpio that you're connected to. Okay, this person thinks about the past quite a bit. They have some sort of regrets. They think about some sort of relationship that didn't work out or fell apart. They think about the breakup quite a bit here. Could be a Virgo. I'm getting that energy too. This person is definitely single at this time. and But they are very emotional. There is a lot of emotions in their mind, in their thoughts. Although I understand emotions in the heart. But 
they think about their emotions quite a bit and they do think about the past they think about some sort of breakup that they went through now they could have broken up with you they could have been broken up with somebody else you know your situation here but they do have some sort of regrets they are kind of already looking a little bit to the uh, to the future but yet past is still on their mind quite heavily let's see what's in there feelings what's in their heart what are they feeling at this time ten of wands they feel burdened their heart feels very heavy here three of cups oh hermit again is coming through eight of pentacles page of cups hmm capricorn i feel like your person feels alone they feel lonely in some way they feel lonely they feel like they're surrounded by people but yet alone if that makes sense they feel like they there's a lot of people around them they could be working with a lot of people they could be going out with some people they could have a good circle of friends but yet deep inside they feel alone they feel like uh, they feel alone they feel like they have this cup of love to give to somebody but there's nobody around them interested in uh, interested enough to give the cup of love to and they feel a bit trapped they feel a bit trapped here um, a lot of burdens their heart feels very very heavy it feels like if they did have some sort of relationship in the past it was just something something still weighs heavy on them here they do they they feel that they have a lot of love to give but they kind of feel stuck in some way and like I said this person feels lonely they do feel lonely hmm. okay let's go ahead and let's see what their intentions are what is this person's intentions take action oh for some of you the intention is to take action towards reconciling towards healing some sort of relationship i'm coming through with a new offer interesting pisces is coming through here wow okay well the intention is to build a family the intention is to have the happily ever after and for a lot of you this means taking an action of reconciling and healing relationship with somebody that they've had from their past this could be those regrets that happened here i'm getting that strongly for some of you capricorns this person wants to heal a relationship from the past take action towards the person from their past but yet come with a new offer come with an offer that is more stable it's like renewed offer an offer that is much more fair and stable like i said they're looking for happily ever after that's what i feel and i think that this person's intention is to trust the intuition and their intuition is telling me that this person from their past is the person that they can have that happily ever after with that's what i'm seeing you could be that person from the past so they could be coming back to their ex and that's not you so you know your situation Capricorn, if you felt like I was not talking about your person at all, please do go ahead and uh, watch your sun, moon, rising and uh, your Venus signs. A lot of times the messages can be coming from there. And we are moving on to Aquarius. Next up for us is Aquarius. We're going to go ahead and check on Aquarius person and see what their thoughts, feelings and intentions are at this time. Starting with thoughts. Aquarius person thoughts. What are they thinking? Wow, that was quick. King of Pentacles could be dealing with an earth sign, specifically a Taurus here. Doesn't have to be. Your person thinks about work quite a bit. Your person thinks about finances quite a bit. They could be working on their savings. They could feel a little bit of a lack in finances. They could think that they could be thinking that they don't have enough and there is some ending on their thoughts look at that the tower is coming through together with the ten of swords that's an ending this is an ending of a relationship this is an ending of friendship this is an ending of a situation here i was pulled to bring two more cards here there is an ending it feels to me like this person is going through some sort of ending it's on their mind but they're trying to kind of almost focus on something else on work on their career on their job here to not to think too much of, about this ending but it is on their mind it's right there okay 
Let's go ahead, Aquarius, and see what their feelings are. What does this person feel? King of Swords. In their heart is you, Aquarius. King of Swords could definitely be your energy. This is an air sign. Ooh, they're heartbroken. Your person is heartbroken, Aquarius. You're in their heart and they're heartbroken. They feel like a wounded warrior. Oh, wow. They feel like they would love to come back to their past here. Could be... They feel like left in the cold. They feel alone. They feel hurt. Oh, this person feels like somebody gave an in, uh, explored other options here. Their partner could have explored their options here. Now, that could have been you. So that could be somebody else. You know the situation here. This person does still feel like they would like to reconcile with their past here. I am getting that, but I do feel like this person is very much hurt. They feel like a wounded warrior. They feel single. They feel like they're left in the cold here. Um, and this person does feel like... You know they want they want that wish fulfillment. They want to have some options in love that won't feel that painful. But yet, in the deep in their heart, they still want to reconcile with this person who brought that heart uh, heartbreak. They feel they they kind of stuck. They are kind of a little bit stuck here. Let's go ahead and see what their intentions are. Ten of Cups, they want commitment. Their intentions are to have a family. Their intentions are to build the family. Commitment is their intentions. But they're not, they're not acting. They're not acting. They feel stuck. They, they are stuck. Eight of Cups, wow. Interesting. Justice is Seven of Pentacles. Wow. Huh. Your personal intentions is to find the um, partner who they can build the family with. That's very clear here. Your person's intentions are to um, look differently in the situation that they have right now and walk away from anything that is not emotionally fulfilling them, anything that is not fair, anything that doesn't bring them that uh, excitement, that love, they want to walk away from it. Uh, you could be dealing with a Libra, doesn't have to be, but your person's intentions is to find the union that is going to be a union of two people equally um, interested in the relationship and equally interested in building feelings, building love, building up that loving foundation here. Your person's intention is to find the person who is um, very much interested in progressing in, like I said, building up the relationship here. Somebody who is um, emotionally available. They're definitely looking for a person who is emotionally available. And they're looking for a person who has the same ideas for the future and the same desires for the future, which is to build a family. This is what I see. Interesting. But well, this is the energy. Aquarius, if you felt like I was not talking about your person here, please do go ahead and watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. A lot of times the messages will come from there. And we are going to move on to Pisces. If you have a lot of Pisces in your chart, if it's your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign, or you just have a lot of placement in Pisces and you know your birth chart well, go ahead and watch this reading. This could definitely be for you. We're going to go ahead and check on Pisces person's thoughts. What is your person thinking at this time? Let's find out. What is your person thinking about this time? thinking about I don't like their thoughts to be known something that came through they're thinking about you hangman this is your energy they're definitely thinking about you you are on their mind queen of swords huh Yeah, I was about to say they f they're thinking about detaching in one way or another and then the death and rebirth came through. Wow. 
judgment. Ooh, and the devil. Huh. They think that there is in their relationship, they are in a relationship, but it feels like they're in a relationship with you here, with the hangman here. Uh, there is some sort of detachment here. There is something, there is some coldness. There's like almost a cold front that came through this relationship here. And they think that it's um, uh, possibly because of some sort of situation of maybe even other people involved here. But what they think is that there is time to bring a little bit more passion to this relationship. They think that it's time to like almost breathe new uh, um, fresh energy into this relationship. They want a rebirth with the judgment, they want to reconnect. If you had some sort of a um, situation where you, um, you know, you kind of went cold, this relationship went cold, if you disconnected, they do want to reconnect. They want a rebirth in this relationship. If there was an ending, they want a rebirth. In their heads, they just feel like there needs to be a little bit more I know, feeling they had. They think that there needs to be more passion in this relationship. Um, this person could be a little more manipulative. I'm not gonna lie. This person feels like they can uh, lure you into something. They think that they can, um, you know, they think they think that they can uh, engage you again. And they do think that this relationship needs like a it's like a new new wave of energy. That's what they think. I think there is a bit of a disconnect here. Huh. Pisces, you could be dealing with um, a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Let's find out what this person feels. What are they feeling? What is this person feeling? What's in their heart? Two of Wands. And adventures in their heart. King of Cups could definitely be you, Pisces. King of Cups is an energy of um, an, um, a water sign. But with the Eight of Cups, they feel like, ooh, it's time to walk away. Eight of Cups, look at that. And that comes followed by the Three of Swords. Three of Swords is a heartbreak. Your person feels heartbroken in some way. They're looking for that wish fulfillment, but it feels like they're going through a, far, um, a heartbreak here. Eight of Cups, they're walking away though. They're walking away from something. They're walking away from a relationship here. In their heart, they're disconnecting. They, um, they know that wherever this was, whatever this heartbreak was, it was not their wish fulfillment. And uh, it's time for them to walk away and f completely disconnect from it. With Five of Cups, this person could be left in the cold. They could be leaving somebody in the cold here. And they, fe they do feel regret. But there is also heartbreak in their heart. There is definitely heartbreak here. They feel hurt. They, you, if, just to be very clear, your person feels hurt. Hmm. No wonder there was this ending here. They're hurt by their ending. Let's see what their intentions are. So this person is a little complicated here, Pisces. What are their intentions? Hangman, hey look at that. That's you. Your energy came through. Very strongly in this reading here, Pisces. Hangman is your presentation, Major Arcana, and you came in in their thoughts and you're coming in in their intentions. Power. But yet again, look at this. There is an ending. For some of you, I mean, I will say that they're thinking about disconnecting from you and their intention is to disconnect. But look at that because they're looking for commitment. They're looking for happily ever after. Hmm. If you know, wow, look at this, High Priestess. This is again your energy, Pisces. This is you. This is your representation, Major Arcana. If you, if you know that your person is was in a connection with somebody else, they married to somebody else, their intention is absolutely to leave that connection and to build something new with you. I'm getting that very strongly here. New love, new love given to Pisces. Look at this. That's what, they, they, that's what their intention is. Mm hmm death <laughs> wow you could definitely be dealing with a Scorpio 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 their intention is to bring an end to something and to start a new relationship with someone else for some of you it's like a rebirth of relationship I am getting that too 
a new cycle in a relationship but this cycle is going to have much more love and an intention of longevity here you have to place yourself where you are you know where you are in this particular situation so if this is your story you will definitely know wh where you stand if you are that person that they are breaking up with or they have broken up with and they're returning to and starting a new cycle here or you that person that they're going towards to once they finish their relationship with somebody um, that hurt their heart they walk away from but this is what i see this person doing it's very clear in their thoughts in their heart and in their mind that it's time to end something and end the heartbreak here and the pain and bring love bring love start a new cycle in love and Pisces you are definitely all over this reading here very focused on you this person is this is what I see these are the messages that came through today I truly hope this reading was helpful Pisces if this was not your message at all if I did not talk about your person please do go ahead and watch your sun moon and rising sign Venus sign is also very important and uh, your messages could be coming from there thank you so much for spending your time with me today i do hope that these readings were helpful to you and i do hope to talk to you soon bye for now